What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Grizz. Today we're going to be taking a look at a Black Ops Cold War Zombies video. And this one here is the very first glitch that we would almost consider a god mode glitch outside of the boss zombies being able to touch you. So this is one for the books, fellas. This is the very first one in the glitch series here that we're starting on the channel. So be sure to subscribe and activate that bell notification for more glitches like this that can help you level up fast. By the way, let me know down in the comment section below, what's your current rank in Black Ops Cold War Zombies? I'm currently level 44, still in my military ranks, but on my way to Prestige 1. Still out here grinding every single day. But let's talk about the setup. In your creative class, if you want to rank your knife up, this is a really good moment to do that. But make sure you have Ether Shroud up to Tier 3, as well as Quick Revive and Juggernaut. But Quick Revive Tier 3 is the most important thing for this glitch. Make sure that you're getting that. And if you want to level up your knife, get all the camos for this. This is definitely the glitch to do that. If you wanted to take this a different route, bring in the die shockwave, preferably the lightning version, you may be able to go forever. But get Quick Revive Tier 3, you're going to need it, and if you can get Jug Tier 3, increasing your health, we're going to jump through some death barriers. So this is the location in the Particle Accelerator Room. We're going to be jumping onto this railing, and we're going to Strafe Mantle up. And there's actually a ledge. There's a ledge we can strafe mantle up. So let's do that again in slow motion. So you're going to want to be able to jump off, strafe off, and mantle up into this invisible ledge that exists right here. And then it'll take us over the wall, and we're going to drop straight down. And you're going to want to run straight ahead and jump over everything. Just keep jumping, because we're going to be running to a safe point. You need to hop over this wall, and the safe point is right around this pillar. This pillar you're going to see in the middle of this area, and right where I'm kind of standing is the safe area. And I gotta say, this area looks pretty cool, Treyarch. It's nice to see behind the scenes sometimes, but looking straight ahead right here is where we're going to take off, and we're going to hop over this barrier and go through this staircase, and then crouch, crouch walk underneath here, and then you're in the pocket. This is the staircase that we're going to be finding, and we can kind of line up where we're going to be knifing right here in this pocket. So right to the left, there's this area right here, and this is the money area, right? We can see the stairs, and right here's where we get all our knife action in. You could stand a knife if you want, you can crouch a knife, but you're going to get a lot of XP just in this location, and none of the zombie types can touch you. And that's really the only thing that qualifies this as a god mode glitch. Since the megatons can shoot at you, and when they split, they're even more dangerous, and you really got to look out for that shock wave that they throw out, right? It's like an acid poison that can actually affect you. So you really want to get your shotgun in here. So I'm using the Gallo, and that's my favorite shotgun. Let me know what you guys are thinking on the Gallo, but to me, it's the bee's knees. But I imagine if you ended up taking the die shockwave down here, the wonder weapon, and had one of its variants, upgraded versions, uh, you wouldn't have that many problems down here because you could just suck them up and refill your ammo and probably have a pretty good time into the high rounds. And the goal with that is to farm Ethereum Crystals. So if you don't know enough about Ethereum Crystals, I actually did cover this in a video recently. It'll be the top link in the description box below. Be sure to check that out if you want to learn more how to farm Ethereum Crystals properly. That method being used with these glitches might be quite beneficial to you. So you're just going to sit here and knife and knife and knife, and you're going to rank up, you're going to level up that XP, fellas, and we have three prestiges to get to uh, during preseason. Season 1 begins December 10th, so up until then we have three prestiges to reach. Currently, I'm on my way to level 55, like a lot of you guys. We're still on our way to that first prestige, but we're going to get there, and each one of these glitches are going to help us along the way. So that's what this series is all about, and I'd like you to subscribe for that reason. There's going to be more things that I cover on the channel, like patch notes, updates, game updates, new things that Treyarch's throwing out there. We're going to be covering that as well, but the glitch series here, this is probably one that a lot of you guys really enjoy so we're gonna keep that up and right now we're starting off strong fellas so get it in while it's hot and this could be patched at any time we're currently on update 1.04 and as these things progress 
uh, glitches get patched over, man. Sometimes they're not available anymore. But right now, this is the one that uh, I recommend to a lot of you guys. Get it in while it's hot and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video, fellas. Appreciate you stopping by. See you next time. Violent out.